So another great up and down by Steve on the last hole. Flopped it in there. Made the putt. Six footer. Now we've got a nice little par three here. It's pretty long actually, so they're playing all the way back there. And we have three more opportunities before he concludes this side to improve his score. Alright. So he'll be looking at about 25, 28 feet here. Birdie opportunity. So as we got up here, um, it's much farther than I was thinking it was originally. It's about 50 feet over a little ridge. You can actually see the change in color there as it goes from light to dark. That dark is where it starts its downhill portion. And it looks like he just stepped into that, which is going to show him that change in, in direction. So this will be his birdie putt here. 54 feet. Very large breaking from right to left. Just gets over the ridge and then there it starts to go. Okay, so he'll have about five feet remaining there. Great par. Well done. So here we are in another par five. An opportunity for Steve to get another one back here. Par fives are an advantage for him, I think, with his length, and it looks like he has taken the driver out. Let's see if he can make a nice, confident swing here looked good and he did the the quick step the, the T grab which is always a good sign okay, we're on this par five second shot here it's got an iron in his hand and he'll be taking it up the right side should be a good approach here for his third shot par five Get him in close and then make the putt, we'll get a birdie. Oops. So Steve just hit it right into the bunker here from, from right over there. He's not going to be very happy with that one. With a wedge in his hand. Let's see what kind of lie he has now. Well done by his playing partner there. I want to say this kid is uh, only 14 years old that he's playing with one of the players and definitely hitting some good shots in there today. Steve's not quite plugged, but again, very dense, wet bunkers out here today. So that's the lie that he's dealing with here. He's made some great up and downs, so it'll be fun to watch him do this. He, he's pretty strong out of the bunker so it's always uh, something I think he feels very comfortable with. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, come back. Oh. Thought he hit that about perfect and it just kept on rolling out. So Steve's looking about seven to eight feet here to save his par. Always a little challenging when it's just off the fringe like this. 
not really sure which way it will kick necessarily. He hit a great bunker shot. I think they're just so dense that the wet sand is hard to stop your ball. And just didn't give it enough. Always hard to read what's going to happen when it's uh, coming off of that first cut of the fringe. So he'll walk away with a bogey there. Unfortunately, kind of wasted the opportunities on the par fives today, but one more hole on this uh, on the front nine. All right, so here we find ourselves on the ninth hole here, Laurel Oaks in Sarasota, of West Florida Golf Tour. Steve is back, teeing it up in a tournament with, uh, unfortunately, zero preparation due to the rain. So we're on the ninth hole here. He's four over par. And we'll see if he can turn this into an opportunity here for a birdie. Oh, nice little draw over that right bunker. Let's see if I can catch it. Ooh. He's just over the bunker, as you can see there but we'll see what kind of a stance he has. I think he's feeling a lot more comfortable with the driver. There you go. All right, so Steve will finish with four over on this side. Unfortunate start with a bad drive that cost him to a double. And then just let a couple of those par fives get away with him. A couple bogeys on the par fives. But besides that, made some great saves for par. And finished with par now. <laughs> we'll take it. So unfortunately, Steve will be taking a drop here, hitting for his third shot on this part three. 
just pushed it a little bit and there was some wind blowing from left to right got a hold of it and then there was no stopping it after that so we'll be taking a drop here now hitting his third shot That's going to need to roll out just a bit. Alright, so he's looking for a short one here, about five feet left to save Bogey. All right, so just a little update on the last couple holes. We started 5-5, five, five, so bogey double. Unfortunately, couldn't convert that save on the last hole. So here we are three over going into the third hole on the backside. Important during this time to remember that you've faced adversity like this before, Stephen. Let's see you come back from it. Okay, nice little punch in there, low shot. Oh, very nice. Got a birdie effort here. <laughs> 